Dang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we get patients in all the time to analyze their bacteria. And I'm ashamed to say I've never had it done before for myself. So we're gonna go see Selena now. She's gonna do the deed. She's gonna take my bacteria and we're gonna look at it under a microscope. All right, so what we're gonna do today, Dr. Graf, is we're gonna take a plaque sample from in between your back molars in all four quadrants of your mouth, and we're gonna put it on a little microscope slide, and then we're gonna go over to the microscope and take a look at what we see. Okay. So everyone has bacteria in their mouth. We're looking for certain types of bad bacteria yeah. that cause inflammation, bleeding, yeah. gingivitis, that kind of thing. Okay, so if I haven't flossed today... If you haven't flossed today, then we're gonna see some bacteria in there for sure, but we can but also... If you have, we may not see much, okay, okay. Um, but also we can tell which bacteria have been there for a short period of time versus a longer period so of time. So if I'm like trying to sneak in some flossing before my cleaning to make it look you know, good. <laughs> so I'm just going to start by sitting you back. All right, so I'm just going to bring your chair up here. I'm just going to put your plaque into this liquid on this little sample here so that we can see it. I'm just going to put it on my little microscope slide and I'm just going to do the same thing in each quadrant of your mouth. So I'm just going to cover up your sample with a little slide cover here. The bacteria that we're going to be looking at today, they are anaerobic, meaning that they can't survive in oxygen. So we're just sealing off the edges of the slide so that they stay alive long enough for us to have a look at them. I'll sit you up here and then we'll head over to the microscope. Yes. All right, Dr. Graf. So we've got your slide sample on the microscope here, and we're gonna take a look at what we see. So do you see all these kind of long lines that are on the screen? Yeah. Those are called rods. Um, everybody has a few rods in their mouth. So essentially what they mean, or what they are, are just long strands of bacteria. And the size that they are depends on how long they've been alive in your mouth for. Oh my for. goodness, that one is a, like across yeah. the screen. Yeah. So, literally. literally across the screen. So we know that those bacteria have been there for a really long period of time. We did take the sample from in between your back teeth where it's always harder to reach when you're flossing okay. and brushing. So that's an area that we always tell patients to spend a little bit more time focusing oh. on with their toothbrush and with their floss. Okay. So that's an area I would definitely spend some more time for you. Oh. All these little guys that you see moving around are different types of bacteria. Oh. So any bacteria that's mobile yeah. can move around in your mouth the same way that it's moving on the screen. Okay, and then in your bloodstream. Exactly. Yeah. Gum disease is linked to a lot of different systemic health issues. Yeah. Um, for example, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, arthritis. So <laughs> everything we can do to... <laughs> all the things in my family history. Do you have all those in your family history? Yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be really important for you yeah. to stay on top of those bacteria in your mouth. Okay. We know that the bacteria cause inflammation in our gums, and so they can do the same thing in our arteries, the same thing in our joints. Okay. So it's really good to keep these numbers really low. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all of this stuff that you see up here, this is plaque. Yeah. And so that's where we took the sample from in between your teeth. Okay. Now, the bacteria feed off of the plaque. So it's basically their food source. So that's why we stress the flossing and brushing so much, because if there's no plaque in your mouth, there's nothing for these bacteria to feed off of. Okay. And they have nothing to eat, then that means they can't survive. Dang, I flossed too. You, you flossed? And brushed well, after lunch. Okay, so that's why it's so important to do it more than just once a day. Right. Because every time that we floss and brush, we can't get every little crevice of every yeah. tooth. So all the more reason to do it more than just once a day. Right. Yeah, yeah. helps okay. you be more thorough. Whew. Don't worry. Everybody has some bacteria when we look at this, okay. so nothing to worry about. We're gonna take good care of you. We're gonna get your cleaning done. And when we do your cleaning, it would be a really good idea to have some ozone irrigation done today. Okay. When we look at the sample and we see some of these bad bacteria, we wanna do something- oh, bad bacteria. Yeah. So there's good bacteria and bad bacteria. We're okay. looking for the bad bacteria. Okay, so everything we've talked about is bad? All the ones that we're talking about are the bad ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, there are good bacteria and yeah. everybody wants to have some good and some bad for yeah. a good balance. Okay. Um, but these specific ones we're focusing on are the bad guys because okay. we know that they cause issues. So when we do your cleaning, we wanna do something that's gonna help to disrupt these bacteria and get rid of them. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. So the ozone irrigation that we were talking about, that is going to help put oxygen under your gums. Okay. And these bacteria can't survive in oxygen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So once we do your cleaning, we're just going to flush some of that ozone water under your tissue. Perfect. And it's going to flush all this out. And then all I would say is at home, just be really consistent with your flossing, your brushing. You might want to incorporate a mouth rinse to use. I do all that. <laughs> when was your last cleaning? Oh, well, that's a different story. Okay. That's been a while. And okay. I'm doing Invisalign. Okay. So, so that all so contributes maybe, to yeah. more bacteria yeah. in your mouth. Do you have any questions about this? Uh, this is disgusting. <laughs> and uh, I hope to never see them again. So. Just keep up with your flossing or brushing like you have been doing. We'll yep. get your cleanings more frequently. Yep. And we'll check this again a year from now and yep. see if these numbers have gone down a okay. little bit. That was disgusting and crazy. I had no idea I had that much bacteria in my mouth. And I didn't really know I had all these bad bacteria either because I am I feel like I'm pretty good at brushing and flossing. But there again, I'm doing Invisalign, so I guess it's justified. Anyway, if you like what you saw, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, like our video, share it with a friend or something like that. Or if you wanna get your bacteria checked out, we can always get you in and you can have your bacteria analyzed by Selena or one of our other hygienists.